Hi, this is Dr. Dennis Hall at Sports and Regenerative Medicine Services. Today we're going to talk about tennis players. Uh, I've had a lot of tennis players and uh, all levels. Uh, we've had many tennis players that come in as they get older, they have bad knees and it starts affecting their game and they're not happy with it. Another thing we have a lot of problems with is if their shoulder starts to go, they have trouble serving. But tennis is a running sport, and if you start having knee arthritis, or if you're younger and have meniscal tears, it becomes problematic for their sport. Um, tennis has become so physical and demanding, and the hours that some of these matches go, five hours or more, is really uh, tremendously taxing, and they're great athletes now. Um, <clears throat> so it's not uncommon that as these people play, even on the senior circuit, the stress that they put on their knees is quite significant. Um, I've had the opportunity of lecturing with some pretty renowned um, doctors and invited Rafael Nadal's doctor to speak with me. And Rafael Nadal, in this picture here, <coughs> is considered one of the all-time tennis greats. His career has been plagued with knee injuries. He um, has had regenerative therapy over the years in between tennis tournaments, platelet-rich plasma, to help him get through tennis tournaments. Um, his grueling style has been so demanding that <coughs> he's had these knee injuries plaguing him throughout his career. In 2012, it got to a point that he couldn't continue, and he took seven months off the tour. And seven months off the tour is not platelet-rich plasma time. Typically, when we use regenerative medicine and stem cell techniques to get players to uh, play at their peak level, it's generally about six months, and that's about the time that it takes. And there, there was a lot of mystery about what Nadal was doing at that time, but later he uh, has been forthcoming and saying that he had stem cell therapy during that time. I happen to know his doctor, and I knew all about this field, so it was very obvious. But what's interesting about that is in 2012, he didn't take that time off, but in 2013, he became world number one again. So taking seven months off tour is, is a good amount of time, but if you're trying to be the best in the world, and then you become the best in the world again, it's well worth it. So I deal with all these issues from you know, professional athletes to um, people just wanting to stay active, and we understand all of that. So. When tennis players have bad knees, it impacts their game and they want to get better. So we have great experience with that and I've treated patients of all age groups from high school tennis players to these people on the tour and, and you have to understand what their injury is, their level of involvement, and then doing what's best to get them to their goal, which is ultimately to play the best tennis they can.